I'm going to show you this app that we've built with GPT 4.0. So it just got released or announced yesterday and I'm going to show you its performance in our app. So this is GPT 4.0. It has a lot of cool features and the GPT 4.0 or the O stands for Omni. And they say that it has two times the speed at 50% of the cost, which is quite impressive because GPT 4 is pretty expensive at $10 per million tokens. That's insane compared to GPT 3.5, which was about 0.5 cents per million tokens. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but any drop is a significant drop. So in order to implement it, we need to implement this GPT 4.0. And if you click here on the model, it will tell us that we can use GPT 4.0, 2024-05.13. And that's exactly what we did in our app. So we've got our usual GPT 4 Turbo, which I was using before, and we've got GPT 3.5. And let's look for GPT 4.0 which is this one over here. So I've got that right over there. So I'm using AI and large language models for creating content, specifically writing emails for me. So we want to see if large language models can write better articles than humans. A few months ago, it wasn't that great, but I've been testing this for quite a while and articles now are so much better. So I'm going to click play and it's going to open up the app. So right off the bat, I can select different types of models. I can select it here or I can go over here and select between GPT 3.5, 4, 4.0, uh, even Grok Llama 3, 70 billion, Mistral 7, Grok Mistral 8 times 7 billion, Gemini Pro, Cohere R+, Plus, as well as Entropic Claude 3 Opus. So I'm going to select for now GPT 4 and let's just compare the speed. We're not going to do this very deterministically. We're just going to do a general comparison. So before I type in the topic, I first want to let you guys know that we're going to be launching an AI medical course very, very soon. So I want to write an email that will go into our email sequence on, let's say, pneumonia detection. Pneumonia detection on x-rays. So I got that over there. I've got my prompts. So I'm going to say, pretend you are Lex Freeman, the podcaster and YouTuber, discuss the topic and talk about real case studies. Ensure that it's in an educational and informational tone and style. Spend 80% of the email discussing the problem and 20% discussing the existing solutions. Then one paragraph right at the end to say that uh, if you want to learn how to code this in our AI and medical course, then let's give them a 59% discount. So the format is the first sentence must be under 10 words and you must strike curiosity or shock value to gain the attention of the reader. So for the body, ensure that uh, the output is in markdown format so that if I need to copy it in or upload it to Medium or LinkedIn or uh, the augmented AI blog, I can do that very easily. So for the markdown, the first heading is the subject line, um, which can only have one hashtag for the heading and two hashtags for the rest of it, right? And then we need to create problems. Uh, so mention the problems to open up the curiosity loops. And then in the paragraphs, we'll resolve these curiosity loops with the transformation and solution to the problem. So let's cl close off that and save the settings. You can also highlight keywords and embed certain links. So we've got links to our courses over here. We've selected GPT-4 and we can decide whether we want to search the web for the latest updates. And I'm just going to click save settings. So let's close that. So I'm going to select here, let's select about 700 words and let's generate the content. Let's see what happens. So in the back end, what's happening is that it's researching the topics. We are using embed chain to embed all of the links. We are using SEP SERP uh, API, SEP API to do the Google search. And the Google search happens for whatever you enter in this box. So if you enter this, then it will search for that, those results and then get those results. Over here, it's, it's adding all of the documents and embedding them. So right now it's just printing out what our prompts are. And now we should be getting our text. There we go. Look at that. So it's a few things that we need to change, right? For example, I don't want to put in anything about Lex Friedman. I'm just going to be like, hey, everyone, I want to delve into the fascinating world of AI assisted pneumonia detection, right? Some things I would change manually. So I would read through all of this and tell you, you know, I would add in this or I'll take out that and whatnot. So looking at this article, it is pretty decent. You know, it took a bit of time to generate. It is quite long. Take this out. I would adjust the prompt to say best regards, Ritesh Kanji from Augmented AI. And then the PS, remember the offer for the AI medical course ends tonight. So act fast if you're interested. All right. So now let's test GPT-4.0. Right. So if I click here, it'll go there. If you click here, 
we can see that GPT-40 is selected. And uh, I just want to show you some functionality of the app before I start with this. We can select different links and I can press this button over here and it'll embed, um, it'll look for keywords like this AI and medical course and over there and over there. We can even highlight different words like $49. So this, if it's $59, it'll look for those words. Uh, we can save our article. And we can also get, we can embed images into this automatically. So if you want to have a personal demo, definitely contact me in the link down below. So this will look for images based on the context. It'll put placeholders and then it will do a Google search as well as an unsplash and pixels search as well. So it'll search through those using the API. And then we get GPT vision to review these images. Okay, this image is good. This is Im image is not so good. It'll give it the score between zero and hundred percent. And the one with the highest percentage will get included into or embedded into this article where we can upload it to medium on my Kajabi site or on LinkedIn. So this is pretty exciting. We can spin the article. We can save the article into HTML format for uploading to certain sites. So yeah, this is what we've been working on, trying to automate quite a few things in the business. So let's try this again, but we're going to try it with GPT-4.0, right? So I'm going to create email and now this thing is starting in the background. I think I need to put some sort of dialogue or some sort of log that will show, okay, this is what's been added rather than having to go back to PyShop and view everything there. Uh, this, then it will search for that, those results and then get those results over here. It's, it's adding all of the documents and embedding them. And now it's uh, implementing. Uh, so right now it's just printing out what our prompts are. And now we should be getting our text. There we go. Look at that. So there's a few things that we need to change, right? For example, I don't want to put in anything about Lex Friedman. I'm just going to be like, Hey everyone, I want to delve into the fascinating world of AI assisted pneumonia detection, right? Some things I would change manually. So I would read through all of this and tell you, you know, I would add in this or I'll take out that and whatnot. Seems to be decent. So yeah, that is the app. And if you guys are interested in a solution like this, you can definitely contact me. Uh, we also have a whole bunch of AI courses that you can check out especially our Augmented AI University, which has all of the latest state-of-the-art uh, technologies that we teach on Augmented AI. And I mentioned my LinkedIn profile that you can check out over here. Just search for Ritesh Kanji. I'm a top voice in AI. So yeah, so we have 43,000 followers and definitely get in touch with me if you are interested in this type of solution.